Over the last 12 months, Luca has served us well as school captain. He has been an exemplary student in every way and he has led the school community, helping us to build our school spirit and leading a sense of pride in the school, which has been remarkable. Today is Luca's final duty as school captain. In fact, he has fulfilled his final duty already in calling you to attention as I step to the microphone. What's going to happen now is Luca will present Leo with a school captain's badge. Thank you, school captain. Ooh, all right. Luca, thanks for joining us. I thought it'd be a great opportunity to sit down with you and reflect with you on your experiences at Trinity and with you know the journey you've had and potentially some advice that you could give back to me as I can continue with my journey and being a school captain. Yeah, that sounds great. And you know, it's a good opportunity to sit down as a captain, as a, the outgoing captain with the in incoming captain yeah. and seeing what you could potentially hand over to me and seeing you know, the steps ahead that I could take. Sounds good. I, I started in 2020 and that was in year seven, that was when COVID came along. And so I've had a bit of a, a abrupt year seven. So I know you started in 2019. I just wanted to see how your experience was when you joined and how your, you know, the Trinity community accepted you. How was that experience like for you? Yeah, so I started in 2019, like you said, in year seven, uh, and jumped straight into Stevenson House, the mighty Stevenson House. Um, some would agree, some, some wouldn't. I don't. Um, but yeah, and look, I wasn't absolutely certain that this school was the right choice for me, but I found myself at home very, very quickly. Uh, and I'm so happy with the decision I made to come to the school. Um, and straight away, look, the way I felt at home was just getting into all these activities that I could um, really made me feel comfortable. And so you talk about your experiences in activities and getting involved. What, you know, I shared the cadet experience with you and I was able to enjoy that with you. But what are the, some, the smaller things that people might not know about you and what you've done over the years? Yeah, so my philosophy's always been just try something. And mm, if yeah. I don't like it, I don't like it, but at least I've given it a go. So in year seven, I started off, I did water polo for a term. Um, didn't really like that, so stopped with that. Did drama club, wasn't really my thing, but still gave it a go. Um, I also tried chess. Um, and then throughout my other years at the school, I've been involved in, like you said, cadets all the yeah. way through from seven to 12. Uh, but then I've also done um, my sport, like you said, so cross country, track and field. I played football until year 11. Um, and then I was also involved in the Duke of Ed program. I did my bronze award. So the advice I always give to people, particularly the younger boys, is you have so much time, you may as well use it and you'll find a way to make it fit. Yeah, and have you seen how the, ch what in your experience has the school changed from time to time? What was 20, how different was 2019 like to 24 as it is now? Well, obviously, you know, you, you joined straight after COVID hit and so you, you're already exposed to those slight changes. Um, but, yeah. you know, for me, my experience in, in year seven was I suppose the old Trinity. Um, we didn't have any of the, the pre-COVID experiences. Um, but then, you know, I think the school itself hasn't really changed a great deal. Obviously, physically, we've got all the construction and that's still going on. Um, and, but the big thing that has stayed the same for me, which I think is important, is, is the school's values. Uh, yeah. and, and the interesting thing is like, I'll talk to old boys at various old boys events and they, they say very similar things from when they're at the school. Like physically, it's not, uh, all that different. Uh, sorry, physically it is that different, but underlying the values, the ethos of the school, that's all stays the same. And so, you know, as you come in, as you, as you came into your tight tenure as the captain, how did you see that was different to, compared to how you ended? Yeah, so look, coming into the role, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I was good friends with Chris, who was the school captain in 2023, and he yeah. gave me some, some really good guidance. Um, but it's one of those roles that you really learn as it goes along. And I only feel now that I've started to grasp what my full responsibilities are um, and the duties I hold. I think at the start, I, I saw it more as a, very much a, a role that, in, like other leadership roles when you're younger in the school, the staff really give you guidance. Yes. And I suppose that's the same as school captain, but the other beautiful thing is that as school captain, you're also given a lot of freedom. Oh, yeah. um, and it's almost as if the staff are saying, okay, now that you're in year 12, now that you're leading the school, how do you want to, how do you not influence the boys? Um, and that freedom was very new to me and it took me a while to sort of get used to that, but now I've really enjoyed it. And so what did you want to focus on during your tenure as school captain? It's an interesting question because yeah. when, 
myself and the vice captain sat down early on in the year, we said to each other, like, what do, what do we want to do? Like, we, we didn't really know. Um, and we sort of decided that it's a bit naive to try and make a, a radical change, as I'm sure you would, you would be thinking as well. Yes. Um, and so we really wanted to bring just, just an idea of rejuvenation around the, the culture of the school. Um, and so how do we do that? We, were, we brought this idea of bringing musical instruments to all these sports games. And we tried to really encourage non-compulsory attendance. Um, and I think from my perspective, we did a really good job of that. You know, we had 350 boys turn up yeah. to a non-compulsory basketball game. Um, and of course, you know, I suppose the results of those games help bring the boys out. But yeah. definitely in the last 12 months, I think the culture around supporting our teams, particularly for the non-compulsory side, yeah. has really improved. The other thing we tried to work on um, as a whole school officer body was to encourage um, some fresh ideas. Yeah. So you would know keynote speeches every yeah. Thursday at Quad. Um, and not that previous years weren't great speeches, it's just that we wanted some new things um, yeah. to be said. And I think we definitely achieved that. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, I'll tell you about my experiences and what I want to take on to my leadership role. Yeah, sure. Something I've wanted to do was, I've always been a be big believer, like yourself, in getting involved. And so something I wanted to do, I plan to do, is try and find ways in which the boys can get themselves involved in the opportunities given by the school. So I see, you know, the schools are, it's a big place. There's a lot of opportunities that arise around us. And so I think letting those opportunities fly past is a waste. Yeah, and, and what, what do you think, like what are some steps you think you're gonna to take to try and encourage this sort of involvement? Because you know, it's not easy, you can't flick a switch. No, and that's why I think being the example in telling others and being, being true to myself and try and understand that, you know, I gotta do this, I gotta put myself out there, show them that by being involved and throwing yourself in all the opportunities given to you by the school is the way where you're gonna develop your character, where you're gonna develop good behaviours and habits so that you can succeed in your life or be ever you want to be. Yeah, and look, I, I had a very similar philosophy going in and I think one of the things that yeah. I like to think helped was trying to be as approachable as possible. Yes. I remember when I was in the younger years, um, I found the school captains pretty intimidating perhaps. Yeah. Um, I, and I tried to, tried to do that or tried to be as, as accommodating as much to the younger boys. I think the yeah. fact that I'm not the tallest guy definitely <laughs> helped. Um, you know, yeah. you're a similar height to me, I suppose, so, so you could be gifted there. Yeah, yeah. But just being approachable, I think, will go mm. a long way. Yeah, and you know, the idea of being approachable is always something that's relevant, just because yeah. there's that feel between the age groups. And so try and connect those bonds together is something that it creates a positive environment for Trinity. Absolutely. Something I also wanted to embody during my time, I try to embody, is formulating that Trinity identity. Being proud of the community that you serve, being proud of the community that you're a part of. And yeah. so I want to continue that home game, the home game supportance that you've pretty much started from your, from your time. And so look, looking up, looking forward to our track and field, to our basketball, to our swimming events, seeing how far we can take this and how much support we can get for our boys. And being proud of our, our school, it also comes with the gratitude in serving back, giving back to the community. Home yeah. games is one way you can give back, but also you know, through charities, through involvements in anything that has to do with serving our community. I think that's something that can help us grow as a person, but also help us, our school be remembered and help our school yeah, create a positive environment for everyone. And I think you're already on the way to that, like starting this new social media page yeah. for the Green and White Army. I think that's going to bring a lot of growth to this area. And I, I do really look forward to seeing um, what you bring to the role as well. And so we look back on your time. Did you have any regrets during your time as the school captain? Regrets. Mm. So you've probably heard me say before, yeah. um, like, I'm not a big believer in the idea of regrets. I think there's no point in, in regretting something, um, particularly yeah. because every single decision I've made, whether a good or bad decision, it's brought me to where I am today. And I'm very happy with where I am today. So I, I don't have regrets. Are there things I would do differently? Perhaps. Um, but look, like I said before, throw yourself into everything, say yes to everything. 
yeah. you will find a way to make it work. Like I, realistically speaking, probably said yes to a few too many things in yeah. my year 12 <laughs> yeah. year. Um, and I was pressed for time a little bit at, at times during the year. Cadets, school captain, just going to school, doing the IB. Yeah. Um, but I figured it out. I'm, I'm still here. I'm alive. It worked. So no, I, I don't have regrets per se. Yeah. And so how would you like to be remembered as a captain? Obviously, someone, everyone loves to leg, leave a legacy. <laughs> um, you probably have some sort of legacy you want to leave around. Could you tell me about that? And Yeah, well, look, I, I don't want to say about leaving a legacy, perhaps, yeah. but it, it's similar sort of to the idea when, when the vice captains and I sat down, okay, what, what are we going to do um, during our tenure? And we said, one of the, the things we said was when we leave, when we leave the school gates on the last day of school, we want to make sure that we've left the school in a better place than we found it. Yeah. Um, and so I, I hope that the things we've done around, you know, the supporting, the non-compulsory attendance, um, being approachable, you know, having the year seven boys say hi to me in the corridors, all those Obviously, little yeah. things, I hope have left the school in, in a much better spot than I found it. Um, and you guys and, and the current year tens and nines and decades to come can continue to build on that. Well, look, I appreciate your time with me and sitting down and reflecting your experiences. Um, good luck in your your future. We'll, looking for, we'll be looking forward to seeing you as you progress through your career. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you.